Okay, today we're going to be looking at constant of proportionality from graphs. Now this is one of the easiest things to do. All you have to do is think of it as a unit rate. And if you watched our earlier videos on how can you tell if a graph is proportional, you really already know what to do. One of our favorite things to do while finding the constant of proportionality is doing y divided by x. Okay, y divided by x, that's our go-to thing if we don't know. Now we do know it's proportional because it goes to the origin and it's a straight line, so we do know that that's going to be proportional. Now let's see what is that constant of proportionality. Well we take a point, we're going to take this point right here, and that point is 10, 100. So what's the y-coordinate? Well the y-coordinate is 100, and then the x-coordinate is 10. So we do 100 divided by 10, and we get k equals 10. But it's not enough just to find the constant of proportionality. We need to know what it means. So let's look at our labels. It's calories burned over minutes. So this is 10 calories burned for every one minute. So are you telling me that the constant of proportionality is really just a unit rate? It is, and later on in algebra, you'll also know it as the slope of a line, y divided by x. So as we look at that, when they're directly proportional, you're going to do y divided by x. Now let's look at our next one. In this case, we have y divided by x is going to be 1 divided by 2. So we end up with 1 half. 1 divided by 2, so k equals 1 divided by 2, or in this case 1 half. But what does that 1 half mean? It means we'll have 1 half batches of cookies. Okay, so a batch of cookies is just how much ever you make at one time. So a half a batch of cookies for every 1 cup of flour. So if you have one cup of flour, you can make half a batch of cookies. I wish we could make a whole batch because I'm getting kind of hungry. All right, let's look at the next one. Now this one, we're still going to do y divided by x. And notice I'm using a k for constant. That's just the mathematical symbol. It actually comes from the German word for constant, which starts with a k. So we're going to do k equals, in this case, 50 divided by 4, and when we do 50 divided by 4, k equals 12.5. So when it equals 12.5, that means we have 12.5, and according to this, pieces of construction paper, so I'm just going to put pieces, over every one box. Those must be pretty little boxes if they only can hold 12 and a half pieces of paper. And most likely, there's not 12 and a half pieces in one box. Why would you just put half a piece of paper in a box? I don't know. These are math problems. So to find the constant of proportionality, simply do y divided by x. It also comes out to be a unit rate and because these problems are directly proportional, it's also going to be the slope of the line. 